Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be trying to find out the top five budget multi-tools on Amazon. And I'm going to limit this to Amazon because to be honest, I was shocked that Gerber has raised prices recently. So now the MP600 is around $75 on their website and the NXT is at least $50. So prices have really gone through the roof so we are going to just be looking at multi-tools on Amazon that as of right now, at this moment, you can still buy at the price uh, we will be talking about. So let's go ahead and start with Leatherman. And we are going to have both a budget and then for some of these, we're going to be having a budget and then more of a quality option. So for Leatherman, definitely I believe their budget option for $49 is going to be the Leatherman Rev. And this is going to come with their combination can opener, wire cutter, file, and package opener. And then we are also going to be having the screwdrivers on this side that comes with a pocket clip. And then let's see if I can find it right here is the knife. So that is going to be coming in at $49 and that will be Leatherman's more budget option. Now, coming in just $10 more, you actually get the Leatherman Bond. And I really like this tool. To me, this is almost like a modern interpretation of the PST. This comes with a file, it comes with some really nice screwdrivers, the attachment there, and then we have the nice awl. And then on this side, we have the knife, and then, see, I'll go ahead and pull this out. We have the can opener, wire stripper, and then it comes with a three-dimensional Phillips driver, which is really good. And I swapped out the bit driver instead in my personal bond. So that is what the bond comes with. And then it also comes with a really nice pocket clip as well for $59 and then of course the rulers on the side. So that is going to be the $59 option from Leatherman. And I would definitely say this is one of my top five, the bond. All right. So from Gerber, we have the NXT, which as I mentioned, has really gone up in price. Now, the big selling factor to me of the NXT is this really nice Phillips driver. I really like that. It has locking tools and it's very pocketable. It feels really good in the pocket. Now, it has this really nice pocket clip and then it has all outside opening tools, which makes it pretty handy. So we have the knife, the screwdriver, this combo driver, the scissors, and then we also have the awl, the depth gauge, a little bit of a file on the one side. Now, the downside with the NXT is I found my knife gets uh, very dull pretty, pretty soon. And then also I have had issues with the spring on the scissors. I have to keep bending the spring on the scissors back. Now I know some other multi-tools don't even have scissors, but that is something that has become fairly frustrating. You can just bend the spring back and then it works again, but it's just something that sort of does bother me sometimes. So the NXT is a really great option at $30 right now on Amazon. At $50, I feel like it's way overpriced, but at $30, it still is an okay option, I guess. Maybe not a great option, but this is one of the budget offerings from Gerber. All right, so then we also have the Gerber 600. Now, the Gerber 600 is one of the two multi-tools between the Gerber 600 and the 400. These were some of my first multi-tools, my first introduction to the multi-tool market. We find that we have a really good complement here. We have the file, we have the can opener, we have some screwdrivers and the scissors on this handle. And then on this side, we have the combo knife, we've got the Phillips, and we've got the saw, which you can replace the blades on that as well. Now, this right here is coming in at $60, which is a steal at the moment. 
It is around $75 on Gerber's website. I definitely think that makes it into the top five, even though it is at the top of our price point at 60. I still feel like it offers a lot of capability for the price it is. All right, now SOG has the Power Pint, which is an excellent little multi-tool. It has, we have a pocket clip here. We have these gears as well that make it a lot stronger. The pliers, the compound leverage system. We have the knife and all a tiny micro screwdriver. We have the cutter, the file. And then on this side, we have the scissors, which aren't great, but we do have the scissors. We have bottle opener, Phillips, and the serrated knife as well. So the SOG Power Pint is just a delight to carry in the pocket. It is very small, very lightweight. This comes in at $49, a really, really good buy. Now, the SOG Power Access is right now, there's only one left in stock. I feel like Song is having some issues getting products in because of COVID and so forth. It seems like a lot of their products are running out of stock. Uh, Leatherman is as well with their mutt and so forth and their crunch in the past. So as of tonight, there was only one of these left in stock. This will come in at $59, almost at the $60 mark. And we are going to have the file, the Phillips, the can opener, uh, and then on this side, we are going to have the knife, the screwdriver, blade, the awl, and the micro driver. Now, both of these are pretty nice tools, but I have to say that I feel like for the money, I would pick the power pint over the access just because it is a lot more pocketable. This is one of the only multi-tools in its price range in its size rather and it just is an excellent multi-tool so i'm going to actually pick that for sog but both of these are pretty good multi-tools uh, they're not extremely heavy duty but both of these are pretty good so that brings us to the last two budget options from amazon and unfortunately these are just killer multi-tools so if you're talking about budget, the next tool Sailor Pro is now only $22. That is an amazing price. It does fluctuate up to, I think, around $30 or so. Essentially, the next tool Sailor Pro copies some, not everything, but some from the Gerber Stratus that is now discontinued. And so we have outside opening multi-tools. We have... And I forget that you have to pull these tools back to unlock them. But we have some giant tools here. We have an awl. We have a huge pair of scissors. We have a very long screwdriver. And then on this side, again, we have to pull the lock back. We have the huge, again, Phillips drivers, Phillips driver rather, which accepts a bit kit. And then we have this file, the serrated blade, and the saw as well. So all, all the tools in this multi-tool are pretty good. They're not perfect, but they're pretty good. And then we have these spring uh, operating pliers, the wire cutters as well. At $22, it's going to be pretty hard to beat this. It's a very solid filling multi-tool in the hand. Feels really good. So $22, amazing multi-tool. Now, at the end, we have this set of multi-tools. Now, this is going to be the multi-force, the Ozark Trail. And there is the Byberry 19-in-1. And then what I'm going to put a link to is the uh, Felissa, I think it's called, 16-in-1, which now is only $27. This sells right here for $40 at Walmart. And basically the exact same thing and they actually add a tool, they add the micro driver to this tool set and you can get it for over $10 less on Amazon, which is a pretty amazing deal. This copies very closely the Leatherman Wave and because it does so, it has a lot of its advantages. It's a really good tool. It has the bit driver as well, the pliers with the wire cutter, and then it's got these outside opening tools, really pretty heavy duty 
pocket clip. It's got a really nice knife. We have the saw. We have the serrated blade. And then, let's see, on this side we have the saw and the file on this side. And it is an attempt at a diamond file as well. So people have mentioned that these plier, that the pliers are a little bit weak. So keep that in mind. And I'm sure I'll get some people mentioning that this is not a great tool because it does have that weakness. So uh, keep that in mind. I've never had mine fail, but I've heard several people say that theirs has. All right. So these are my pick for the top five multi-tools, and it's pretty tough because this is $27, this is $22, this is $49, this is $60, this is $59. So out of all these tools, I know many people will say the Bond is the best because it has a lifetime warranty from Leatherman. People will say, well, the Gerber offers lifetime warranty as well. And I'm sort of leaning to the Gerber, to be honest, as if you're going for solid duty or heavy duty, something that will last. I'm sort of leaning to this as the best option in the $60 and under range because you have the scissors, you have the knife, you have the screwdrivers, you have the saw with a replaceable blade, and you have a pretty good set of pliers here as well. So it's not perfect. It's not what everyone would love but it's a pretty good option. And I know people that have used these for years and years and years. Now, out as far as the, I guess you could say the tough option, we're gonna go with the Gerber 600, but as far as the cheap budget option, I still think this definitely is the best option if you're not looking for a super heavy duty set of pliers. If you just some, want something to put in your pocket, uh, something that's going to be for light duty task, I still feel like this Felissa 16 in one, this again, the 16 in one is going to have a micro driver, just be a tiny bit different, but basically the same tool is the best it's it's the best for the money. At $27, you essentially have a Leatherman Wave at a fraction of the cost. Again, it doesn't have the same build quality, but it has a lot of the same tools and a lot of the same things that people love about the Wave is also in this tool. So unfortunately, there's not too many options anymore in the $60 price range from a lot of the large manufacturers. I know you'll Many people will disagree with this, but this is just sort of what I found. I like to hear what you think, and maybe you have some more budget options as well. All right, we'll see you in the next one. I've got a couple more for you to watch right here.